Okay, so previously we set up the machine, we set home, but in our programs that we talk about that uh, we already went through, we're going to talk about work offsets. And what we did is we set our work offset off the back corner of this job. So how do we get that location compared to home? Well, we do that in lots of different ways, but in our example today, what we're going to do is we're going to use an edge finder. And this edge finder is actually meant to set off center a little bit. So we'll go ahead and put it in our machine, be in jog mode, we'll release the tool. We'll add it. Now, this runs off center, so as the spindle rotates, this actually runs out of round. And then as we move it in close, it'll go to perfect uh, concentricity. And then we know exactly how far away we are from that edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, and we'll just do um, a slow spindle speed. We'll do uh, S250, and then we'll do an MO3, which tells us clockwise or counterclockwise. So we'll write that turn the spindle on. You can see that's a pretty decent speed. You can go a little bit faster, but you never want to go too fast because it actually spins that nub off. So what we'll do now is we'll move the jog. And then we'll bring it down. Once we get close, we'll go to uh, fishing mode and we'll actually use the dial to spin it over where we want to go. this down go forward just a little bit and then we'll start creeping up on it next just a little bit more and if you can see here you can see how it moved to where it's in the center it's no longer wobbling that now tells us that we're exactly 100 thousandths or 0.1 away from the center of the spindle. The reason I know it's 0.1 is because the diameter of this piece is actually 0.2. So if we look at our position now, in X, we're at negative 18.8. So I know that I need to be negative 18.7 or 18.9, depending upon which side that I'm on. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll write that number down and that will become our point for the side of this jaw. 